Hey there, it's Chris Acton with Acting Creative, and this is a hand-woven experience. In today's episode, well, we're gonna do some weaving math. Mm -hmm. We can do it, I promise. Specifically today, we're gonna talk about figuring up your final shrinkage. So anyone who was thinking, ugh, that algebra, I didn't pay much attention because when am I ever gonna use it? Well, today. <laughs> today, you're gonna use those algebra muscles that you uh, picked up when you were in school. It's, I promise it's not too bad. I'll walk you through it step by step. But first of all, let's talk about why it's important to do some weaving math. You see, as weavers, we are doing uh, various projects in different fibers, different patterns, and they are gonna respond a little differently. But the more we can kind of document what happens as we go through our projects, the more we'll be able to anticipate what's going to happen in future projects, making us more confident and just kind of wiser to the entire process. So let me give you a real life example and, and we can make it more concrete. This is a project that just came off the loom. It's going to be a pair of towels. I haven't hemmed them yet, but one of my final steps that I always try to do is to figure up my shrinkage. So here's what that looks like. When I took the project off the loom, I laid it out on the floor. I took a yardstick, measuring tape, whatever I had around, and I measured the length this way and I measured the width this way, right? Okay, great, starting point, awesome. Put it into the washer and the dryer, take it out, lay it on the floor, repeat the process, measure the length this way and the width this way. Now this is cotton, so you know the numbers are gonna be different. There is absolutely going to be some shrinkage. But the chances that I'm gonna do this exact same project again uh, probably pretty small. So it's important for me to understand what the percentage is, not just the actual numbers. That's what we're going to figure up today. And today we are just going to focus on figuring up the percentage of shrinkage in the width. Are you ready? We can do it. Big breaths, folks. We can do it. So for my project, when I, when I came off the loom, it was 17 inches wide. Great. Starting point. After I put it through the washer and dryer, I measured it again. It was 14 and a half inches wide. Now, clearly it's shrunk. We just need to know how much. We can do it. Here we go. Hopefully my props will cooperate. So, in order to figure up our percentage, we need to take our two numbers and we need to do kind of a little visual crisscross thing. Here we go. You want to put the small number over the big number. That's what you remember. Now, you'll notice that when I measured it, I said it was 14 and a half, and my numbers here say 14.5. I do that because I know I'm gonna put it into a calculator, and that just makes the most sense. You do you, my friends. However it makes more sense in your brain, uh, go with that. But for me, uh, it's easier if I put it into a decimal format here, okay? Just, uh, just a little asterisk for us here. Now, we need to figure out a percentage. If something is like all the percentages, it's 100%, right? that is the highest we go. We're not going to have, in this case, never, we're going to have more than uh, 100% because we're shrinking. We're not expanding, right? So we need to figure out how much, what this proportion is, and put it into another number that we can work with going forward. All right, here's how we do this. Take the small number, and you divide it by the big number. Now, I don't know this in my head. I'm gonna take out my calculator because we're not in school anymore and we're allowed to use calculators. Okay, so 14.5 divided by 17. Okay, I get this crazy number that has 0.85, blah, 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 blah. okay, All right? So, 0.85. Now, that's a really, really small number. But as we look over here, uh, we are actually gonna move the decimal two spots. So this becomes 85. Well, my five is ugly, but you know what I mean? 85 right there, okay? Now, as we look at this, we're like, it didn't shrink 85%. No, 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 no. Think back to our actual fabric here, right? Started out at 17, end up at 14 and a half. So this, 14 and a half is 85% of our 17. Mm, okay, 
we're almost there. Are you with me? Okay. So our 85, I'm going to turn this over so you can see it better. So our 85 over a hundred percent, if we want to figure out the actual percentage, we just have to kind of flip that around. What is, uh, what's left from 85 to hundred? Uh, technically we did this 100 minus 85 equals that's our shrinkage folks right there our project in the width shrunk I knew that was gonna happen it shrunk 15 percent mm-hmm 15 percent so now we know that if we are working with a project that we're using 8-2 cotton and we're doing a 2 2 twill, we can anticipate 15% shrinkage. And isn't that powerful? Because then it doesn't matter what size our project is, we can figure up the percentage going forward, making us smarter, wiser, more educated weavers. That's a good thing. All right, friends, I hope that didn't break you break out in hives and you have to go, you know, think of happy thoughts, unicorns and rainbows now. It's okay. <laughs> Math is not something to be afraid of, especially when it comes to weaving. It is only going to help you. So just to kick it around, try it out and uh, see what the percentages are for your most recent project. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you figured it up differently or, uh, or what, uh, what you do to help with the math in your project. All right, friends. <laughs> just, uh, you know, go take a nap now. It's okay. Have a great week. Happy weaving.